<laughs> I think it's time for me to go home. Hi everyone, this is Holly and we are going to the Dollar Tree to check out all the awesome 2023 Christmas stuff that they have out. I did not plan to film that night, but there were so many new things that I had not seen before and I really want to share them with you. I'm super excited, so get ready, get set, let's go have some fun. Look what I just found. So this was a super exciting find for me. I don't know if these have come out in other Dollar Trees that are kind of the older, more established ones that tend to get all the really nice goodies, you know, the new trends and everything first. But for my state, as you can see, I double checked just to make sure this wasn't Dollar Tree Plus. These are pretty big trees. They're measuring in some cases almost eight inches high. So I was thrilled. I was absolutely thrilled and I thought I, I, I was shopping just so you guys know I had no intention of filming but when I saw all the neat new Christmas stuff out I thought I, I just want to show you guys I want to show everybody what's out there because these definitely won't last they had just put this out about a week ago but they're in a little small town so a lot of time to get these items out on the shelf and not a whole lot of traffic so I was very very fortunate to stumble on this that's why it's nighttime outside I literally went with hair wet <laughs> Anyway, look at all the neat new things. I will go over them slower for you in just a minute, but they have some really cool new items out this year. These are metal and they have beautiful detail. There is a Santa, a snowman. I mean, look at the detail right there. You know, it's not cheap. Usually cheap metal has like little chips or weird imperfections. These guys are pretty consistent. And then there's a penguin. And by the way, to the person who watches my videos, who's came on and said my entire Christmas is penguin themed. There's something there right for you. And they are carrying the nutcrackers again. I'm not a big nutcracker fan, but I still think it's pretty neat and you can definitely change those up by painting them and dress them up. And then these were also new to my Dollar Tree. Great find, even just for the stands. If you do DIY things, those stands right there, they're awesome. But those come in Buffalo Check in red and black and then black and white. And then I didn't notice until later when I was doing the video that there's actually two different patterns of plaid right here. And then there's these reindeer right here. I'm not a big fan of the pattern on there, the buffalo check. I do love the shape. I love the concept that they're metal. However, they are ridiculously thin. The girl packed them in my bag and just me putting my bags in my car bent one all the way down flat so it was laying on the ground. I was able to salvage it and I think I'm still going to be able to use it for a DIY but warning, ask them to wrap those up in paper. So here's a ball. I think it's one of those like little snow globes. I'm not a big snow globe fan when it's plastic like that. I like the ones with liquid and snow but here is a really neat find that's definitely new. I always brag about my big juicy red berries I get from Amazon and here they are at the Dollar Tree. I swear they listen to our videos because they try and figure out what we need so that we don't go to Amazon, we go to Dollar Tree. So <laughs> we now have the big beautiful red juicy berries at Dollar Tree, including flocked ones. So I went ahead and picked up the plain ones. I like to flock my own berries. I think it looks more natural but really great find. And then they have some of these wood cutouts that are for crafts. That's a typical thing with the snowflakes, but here's something new to my Dollar Tree that I was really excited about. I could smell them before I could see them. These are those cinnamon scented pine cones and they don't smell weird. They smell like the ones that you would smell outside of Michael's or Hobby Lobby that debuted about 13 years ago. You kind of knew about them before you saw them because they were so strong. Remember that you'd walk in and you'd be like, what's that cinnamon smell? It's everywhere. They're at Dollar Tree and there's like six or seven pine cones in there for $1.25. Fantastic deal. So I went to check out the ribbon. I don't see any new ribbon. That doesn't mean there isn't any, but there wasn't any at that Dollar Tree. And of course they have their little bottle brush trees, which they had last year. I don't remember them coming in that color green, but I could, you know, it's hard. I start getting images mixed up a little bit, but I think that might be a more natural green or maybe it just came out different. But here's something new too, these picks. These are new to my Dollar Tree. They've never had the big picks like this. This is more what you would have to go to Michael's for or Hobby Lobby to get. They're pretty decent and you can definitely change those up and dress them up and add things. I love these tree skirts. They were definitely around last year. I did pick one up for a DIY and if you wanna follow me with my DIYs, you might wanna grab one of the silver ones when you get a chance.
<laughs> my cart's even more full. Oh, and here is the pine that I bragged about. Now, last year I filmed this and complained that they always put glitter on their pine. I wish they wouldn't do that because the high-end stores don't do that. It kind of dries people away. They did not put glitter on this year. That is definitely a rival for high and pine. The only criticism I would have that's constructive criticism is it's flocked and all the flocking comes off in a ridiculous amount of powder. And if you can't keep the powder on, if I was in charge, I would tell my suppliers, skip it because people can always just flock themselves. And I think the flocking that they would spray on would actually stick better than the one that you're putting on and it makes a mess. Also gives people the option. So here's some other beautiful florals. If you're into glitter, that one has glitter on it. Very beautiful, those berries that I showed you. Again, I'm not a big glitter fan. Even just touching it, I don't know if you noticed there was glitter on the top of my hand, just from touching those, it just kind of spreads like the wind. So not a big fan. In fact, when I checked out, you guys, the girl had a fan on. I go, where's that wind coming from? I asked her because I actually had glitter fly in my eye and I had to go rinse my eye out with water. So again, I am not a fan of glitter. Now these I thought had a bunch of glitter on, but they don't. They actually have these little stones that kind of fall off. I already had glitter from something else. You can see all that stuff falling off. I don't know if it's coming from that. It didn't seem like it was doing that when I got home, but I love that for winter DIY. So I grabbed one of those picks as well. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with a clear varnish to try and stop those beads, like little fake icicle balls of ice. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but to try and get them to stop falling off. Here are the ornaments that were available to me. I love these big ones. There's one in gold and red, and you can see all the different colors there, but there was one last silver one, and I did grab that for a DIY. So again, if you follow me, go ahead and grab a big silver bulb. I have a really good DIY plan for that in the winter. So here are the Christmas bulbs they have in the size that I wanted. There was like the little sparkly pink one, white, gold, silver, blue, red, but I didn't see any green. There was definitely a shortage of green. I don't know if someone came in and bought all the green or if they don't make green. There was some other green bulbs, but they were too big for what I wanted, but I did buy some bulbs. They do have some little green and red bells that are bigger, the jingle bells, so that could suffice in a pinch if you needed the color. And here is the little glam collection of ornaments right there look at them sparkle and this is new this was not here last year for me i love this this little wreath right here of course we diy things like this and now it's a little miniature ornament you can hang on your tree i also loved this pearl i don't really feel like this is glam i feel like it's more like an elegant victorian or french country look some very pretty choices there if you're into that look as well and then these, I almost miss those little balls, but actually I think they look cute in a tree if you do kind of like a candy tree or a playful tree. And these are the winter trees. They're usually out every year and they have glitter on, but I am planning on spraying them with a varnish to seal the glitter in. And as I'm having my little chunter, it occurred to me that no one would ever complain if there was no glitter. They only complain if there is. Did you see how fast I moved right there? That's because those tags are like faux wood or something. I don't know, I love them. I bought one of those. They feel like wood. The gingerbread tags are super cute too. They're metal, but warning, the gingerbread men do look like paper up close. And here's the bottom end of the glam section where I found some blue snowflakes. If you're into the blue decor, it's very pretty. They have pine cones that sparkle candy canes I don't care for because they have that tinsely look which to me looks cheap but you could DIY those that would be something you could absolutely fix up they definitely had a very nice selection of ornaments to choose from it's hard for me to stay calm because I was really excited the Christmas stuff was out so I'm kind of trying to look at it really quick and the camera's moving with me this is actually real life how I'm reacting to the things I'm seeing that are jumping out at me right away so I loved these presents I grabbed two of them. I don't think I'm gonna DIY with them. I think I just like them just the way they are, just to put as little accent pieces on my entryway table. I just think they're super cute. Another new item that I do not recognize are these mini little tags here. And I thought they just came in one. They actually come in three choices. There's the cream colored ones, the red ones. And then when I saw these, I got excited because I saw the name Holly right there. It's Holly and Jolly, but I thought those, well, that was actually the last one. So I think that is gonna be a favorite. So you might wanna grab that one if you see it, cause it's already gone in this store. I took the last one. 
sorry guys <laughs> for those of you that shop there so here's the reindeers they're out every year but the brown one's new to me i think he's gorgeous the gnome is there and then another version of a gnome i'm not a big gnome fan but if you love gnomes they're there and here's kind of a hidden little cutie that i thought was really underrated that silver one there i think if you hang on a tree would catch a lot of light on your tree and it's two for a dollar 25. i love the ice skate absolutely gorgeous I went ahead and bought one of those to do a DIY with and then there's those snowflakes next to it and they brought their little owl out again you can see the owl on the left hand side there as well I wish I had gotten that one do you see that one with the print I thought they were all buffalo check but they're not there's actually that black and white plaid one it's not really plaid I don't know it's a really nice love that one I should have got that one but it was kind of tweaked a little bit with the beads in the front so I went for the buffalo check and it doesn't really matter the DIY that I have planned you're not going to see it but if you want to use that fabric you want to grab that one because that was also selling out quick I could tell there's the snowman and the little word ornaments and the bells I don't see the big white bells like they usually have they just have like gold ones and silver ones and I love these so far these have been out the last three years the red sleigh and they're little vintage sleighs I love this the red one and the galvanized one or the silver one I think it's so cute and of course I grabbed two of these these are not seasonal I don't think but they are perfect for DIYs for Christmas and these are all the Dollar Tree Christmas signs that this store had out I don't know if this is all they have this year I doubt it but this is all that they had out for display they were definitely short so the first one I thought was beautiful um, this one behind it with the hot cocoa, it looked cheap, it looked like paper, and the one on top looked a lot like paper, but the one with the deers and the house, that one was very classy in person. It looked really good, and you could definitely dress that one up. I love those Christmas tree forms. I bought four of those, and this year I noticed they're keeping the pool noodles out, so definitely they must watch us because we use pool noodles for wreath DIYs, so thank goodness they brought it out, and that's the sign I'm talking about right there. I did end up buying it because I have a DIY idea for that to upgrade it, so that's gonna be fun. And then there's more florals to my left here. I just wanted to take a look at this. This is where their pine cones and berries are, and their little Christmas flowers, and just more stuff. They really have upped their game with their florals. I have to give them credit. I wish they would continue to back down on the glitter. <laughs> I think they would actually get more sales. So here's our wrapping paper. I could see super cute prints. Of course, I'm not gonna pull each one out, but always check out the Dollar Tree wrapping paper because it's so cute and it's a very good deal. This is new to my Dollar Tree. It's those little wax melts that smell in our fragrance for the holidays. I thought that was really a good idea. I didn't see the burner. It doesn't mean it wasn't there. It may have been in their candle section, but just in that area, they didn't have it near the wax. And these are new as well. They're like sparkly little tapered candles. And some more Christmas signs on the other side. This is <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of the year. Of course, I buy these signs to DIY them, but these are the prints if you want to leave the prints. Again, they have glitter on. Here's something new that I didn't know what it was at first, and I realized it's a candle. I've never seen this before. It's the <laughs> Nutcracker, but it's a candle. It comes in green and cream. I'm guessing red might be in there somewhere, but I couldn't see it, and there was a big box where I couldn't bend in any further to see, but I did grab two of those. I actually like those very much, and you can paint those. Even though they're wax, they're heavier and nicer than the other ones, so that's an option. I went ahead and grabbed two more of these metal buckets, even though I wasn't a big fan of the print this year as much as last year. I did prefer last year's print. I showed you a video on my channel where I compared last year's to this year's, and they were definitely, in my opinion, much nicer last year, but I do love the buckets themselves, so I went ahead and grabbed two. And here are the tapered candles I was hoping to find. They don't have any glitter in, nothing. I'm going to use those for a DIY, so I also grabbed two of those. Another fantastic find at Dollar Tree, these 30 inch LED candy canes. I did not see a higher price on these and this is not a Dollar Tree Plus, so I assume those are $1.25 and they are a great deal. 
They also have these LED candles with a timer. I didn't know they had a timer. I usually put those in my window at night, upstairs and downstairs for Christmas time because I think it looks super old fashioned and cozy and cute. The timer feature is great, so I bought four of those. They also have some really neat Christmas lights. The only thing you need to be aware of is that a lot of these decorative ones, like the stars, they are battery operated. And despite all those beautiful and tempting light strands, I usually gravitate towards the multi and the white little 20 mini light strands there because they do come with plugs and I personally hate dealing with batteries. I'm never good at remembering to replace them or buy them. So I just went ahead and grabbed a couple of boxes of those. And these bad boy favorites are back. You can tell because they're pretty much sold out. There was only one left. So I went ahead and grabbed that one and I'm hoping to find another one. I was hoping it was that one, but it was attached. I didn't see the little sign. It says, try me. So for those of you that are not familiar with these, this is what they look like. And this is what they do. really really pretty they change colors so they're very popular like i said if you see these they won't last grab them up because already in this dollar tree they're gone so you see these big mason jar mugs here i went ahead and i picked up a small little version of it from the other side of the kitchen section right here i just want to show you because i am going to do a diy with this and i wanted to let you know ahead of time if you see those to go ahead and grab one and the other thing on my Dollar Tree Christmas list was to pick up some of the Dollar Tree Christmas trees. They're just good to have because they do sometimes sell out. So I went ahead and I grabbed four. I actually wish I had grabbed six, but I only grabbed, well, I grabbed six and then I put two back at the register because I thought, oh, I got too many. But they are a good thing to have if you do DIYs. I do have some ideas for those. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I totally didn't plan on doing one, but I'm so glad I got to share the neat things coming out. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>